Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Pukul Khan, Serpent of the Nine Winds. Upon the high winds of Mayan lands rides the feathered serpent Kukul Khan. Awesome and terrible to behold. Majestic, yet sinister, Kukul Khan embodies the danger and beauty of a double-edged sword. Dotted across the vast forests of the Mayan lands stand great pyramids bearing his serpentine likeness, architecturally perfect so as to catch the light and bring to life those slithering stone statues painted in blood. Sacrifices were made upon these sites to appease Kukul Khan. He is the lord of death and rebirth. To the world, he brought the four elements, but of wind, he keeps control. A great gem worn around his sinuous neck is said to be the source of all air. To the people, he brought the calendar, that glorious, portentous stone disc which counts time to a distant future only to stop abruptly and with horrifying finality. To the battlefield, he brings a legacy of power and domination. Sacrifices made for his favor were measured in blood. But mortal blood is weak. It seems that for Kukul Khan's ultimate appeasement, the blood of a god is required. Kukul Khan's passive is called Power of the Wind Jewel. Kukul Khan's magical power is increased by a percent of his maximum mana. His first ability is called Zephyr. Kukul Khan fires a projectile breath attack that hits the first enemy in its path, doing damage and slowing all enemies in the area. His second ability is called Slipstream. Kukul Khan channels the wind, allowing him to move at an increased speed. Additionally, Kukul Khan is immune to slows for a short duration. Kukul Khan's third ability is called Whirlwind. Kukul Khan summons a tornado covering a radius around his ground target location. A smaller tornado branches off onto any enemies that come within the radius, doing additional damage. His ultimate is called Spirit of the Nine Winds. Kukul Khan summons the spirit of one of his fallen allies to breathe down destruction onto his enemies in a path in front of him. Enemies hit, take damage, and are knocked to the side. In this first fight, Kukul Khan defends middle lane against Nuwa. Coming under attack by Thor, Kukul Khan quickly retaliates with Spirit of the Nine Winds and Zephyr. Thor flees with Anvil of Dawn. A triple combo by Amir brings down Kukul Khan on the brink of death Quickly retaliating with Zephyr, Kukul Khan brings down the God of Thunder and successfully survives two ganks. In the second fight, Kukul Khan heads toward right lane for a gank. Activating Whirlwind on top of Poseidon and quickly following up with Zephyr, Kukul Khan brings down the God of the Oceans with a deadly Spirit of the Nine Winds. In this final fight, Kukul Khan pushes middle lane along with his teammates. Activating Spirit of the Nine Winds and Whirlwind, he brings down the God of Thunder. Shrugging off Poseidon's Kraken, Kukul Khan gets a second kill. Dodging Amir's ult, Kukul Khan gets a triple kill as he takes out Apollo with Zephyr. As the Serpent of the Nine Winds, Kukul Khan glides across the battlefield to bring devastating damage. Starting him off with Whirlwind can help clear early game minion waves. Next, picking up Zephyr can provide Kukul Khan with additional damage as well as a slow. From there, the priorities shift to Spirit of the Nine Winds, Whirlwind, Zephyr, Slipstream. Arachne and Odin receive significant changes in this patch. The Weaver's Kit has gone through a complete overhaul. Odin welcomes a single new ability as well as a revamped passive and ultimate.
Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Kukul Khan, Serpent of the Nine Winds.